already loving the vibe of Poshida. You can hear all these scooters just whizzing around. And then you look up at these pastel color houses and see the laundry just flowing gently in the wind. And of course, we're just walking right down by the boardwalk so we see all these little boats walking in the water. It's just very, very relaxing. Prochita, Prochita, Prochita. What is Prochita? Well, let me tell you one of Italy's best kept secrets in the form of the Bay of Naples smallest island. My boyfriend Yurun and I took a ferry from Naples to Prochita in just 40 minutes for a day trip to escape the madness of the mainland. When we arrived, Fishermen were hauling in catch from the harbor. Italian sun bleached streets made the island a romantic way to explore on foot. I think this is why Yurun and I come to Italy summer after summer. Even if we're packed busy in between all our other travels, we take a holiday from our holidays to come back to this country. There's always something to explore, to discover that we haven't done yet, like this gem of an island right here. And in the future, the magic of Italy is that if you ever get the chance to come back to the same place more than once, there's this surreal timelessness that has nothing changed. And in a world that's constantly ever evolving, always racing towards the future, Italy will always be my solace for slower, appreciative moments in life. The thing about Porchita is that there's hardly any foreign visitors who seem to recognize it. The island is the right size at only 4 square kilometers that is filled with faded crumbling paint off walls, intricate artful ceramics, and rustic streets. Our noses tickle with the scents of pink Boiguen Villa and tiny white jasmine on one part of the island and the saltiness of the sea on the other. Porchita's highlight is Marina Corcella, the colorful fishing village that's built into the rock leading to the sea. The 17th century settlement is traffic free and can only reach by stairs in passageways through the houses. Along the waterfront there are piles of fishing nets and patio restaurants where you can enjoy a meal with a view of the terra marata and bobbing fish boats. Yes, this place is just as romantic as it looks. Afraid of the sun, what a place to be in Italy for a, a bino, right? Okay, he's not a bino. In fact, he's quite pink. <laughs> Being here makes me feel grateful that I can take time off from what society expects of me. Whether that be a 9 to 5 job, family obligations, growing up and staying in one fixed place, to be here is to escape. It unshackles me from the regiment and the routine. It helps me unplug and unwind when you're staring out into the, this Mediterranean. To see different generations still play outside in the streets, whether that be old men and their chess games or children and their footballs. Through travel, I get to feast for my eyes with the architecture, to feast with my mind by learning history and by being introduced to voracious people and cultures, and to, well, actually feast with this many taste bud pleasures around me. All of this is true when I was single and now in a serious relationship. Traveling with someone that I love is the best way to grow our love for each other. It's through the adrenaline of booking flights with Yurun and new experiences that shared this form and strengthened bond.
This is the Italian view to die for. Oh, my breath is being taken away. So we came to Procida, and Procida is just like this little dot out of all of Italy, out of all of even besides neighboring Ischia. And we didn't think much of it because it's like, okay, it's a small town, small island, and look at all of this. There's a beach in the distance, and there's tons of church scattered all around the island, and then this beautiful view. So that's Ischia. Okay. Oh yeah, Naples is all the way, quite far in the distance. Just falling in love with Porchita. Nothing but the sun and the sea. There's old men driving mini three-wheel trucks called Ape, which means bee, that buzz like their namesake, or tiny, ridiculously cute little Fiats. Did you know, people come to Prochita to also visit some of the old archaeological findings, which are known to have a Greek origin, and for how gorgeous the decaying of time has been to the island, or well, lack of funding, Prochita has been a favorite spot of movie directors where scenes for The Postman and the talented Mr. Ripley, one of my favorite movies, were shot. Ciao, bello. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> this is what I call summer love. Except not just for the summer. <laughs> but Italian summer love, you know? Wandering around a little sleepy island in the middle of the Mediterranean. <sighs> oh, southern Italy. has captured my heart this island. I mean, with the lovely coastline and landscape, how can it not? Perchita is of volcanic origin, and several of its curving bays are still reminiscent of craters. There's also several beaches around the island amongst the Baroque churches that dots the alleyways. We came down from all the way up top and now look, yes, this boardwalk is just as beautiful below as it was up there. How I move in this world may change, where I go may change, different parts of me may change, but travel is something that will always be part of my DNA. Just like Italy itself, something to always revisit something that will always be there for me, and something to always cherish. I truly wonder sometimes how much weight I've gained from all the gelato I've eaten on this trip so far. But then I get another scoop and completely forgot about that train of thought because what a summer quencher this is. get our own gelato, even though we usually share, share. It's because I prefer mine in a cone, and he prefers his in a cup. More gelato for us!
I hope you enjoy our day trip to Prashida. Please subscribe, give this video a like, and leave a comment below because in the next video, we're taking you to a place that lives up to La Dolce Vita.